I think profitability and innovation go together. It's not the one or the other. If we do not invest, for example, in production technology to triple the titers, we will never ever be able to supply what patients need in 2020. We have to invest in new technologies like viral vector manufacturing because otherwise the new entities in vaccines or in the part of the, the, uh, the, the new entities on immunology will just not make it to the market. So yes, new products will have to have enough profitability to really finance R&D and manufacturing technology, but we have to invest now to get the benefit in three to five years in manufacturing technology. First and foremost, I would say, if we look to the efficiency of downstream processes, we are far behind. That is somewhere at least not uh, the best results we, 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 we got at the industry in the last uh, five to six years. Titers going up, but uh, we lose too much material downstream in truck substance manufacturing. Then we have to look to truck substance, truck product, and device combination for devisability from the very beginning. This technology are pretty key. It's not rocket science. And then come things like the viral vector production or the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, which will play in rare diseases a revolutionary step in the next five to 10 years. But both have to be supported by innovation and investment. Well, the industry in the next 10 years definitely will see a significant growth on specialty care. Uh, and that means a diverse choice of treatment, but for us in development manufacturing means, means also a diverse challenge in different entities of biologics. And it will be small amounts, it will be large amounts, specialty care, so to say, in the general care, volumes to supply will be a challenge, but also to, to technology to supply these products will definitely put a significant challenge for us. We have to look end to end in how we develop products because the whole way of clinical development, putting CMC on the critical path is changing. This is probably the most acute part, which I would give a recommendation. The other is how do we get into a competitive environment where pricing will be one-tenth to one-fiftieth of what we get today. Well, the American Biomanufacturing Summit really brings a lot of good people together who are bringing their strategic but also their very practical view forward. It's a great network uh, event and the setup of the event in presentations and more directed networking is probably a very nice way of using best knowledge transfer in the industry. It's absolutely great to see A, the experienced people and, and the network and talking specifically about the quality part and compliance, which is the entry ticket to our business, as well as the manufacturing, gives a very clear focus and that's a very good thing and should be continued. Experience was very good. Uh, I have seen a, a very interactive audience, which always makes me happy. Uh, and not a front-end uh, talking only. I think it's a great platform for exchange and I thank you very much for inviting me.